Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another fantastic gameplay commentary. Today, I'm bringing you a special video. Today, we are going to be talking about my thoughts, my impressions of last weekend's Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands closed beta. Now, we got a lot to cover. I'm going to mainly just ramble through this entire thing. I'm going to provide some random B-roll that really has no relevance to what I'm talking about. So with that said, kick your feet up, crack open your favorite beverage, and sit back, relax. Let's get started. Now this past weekend, I probably spent anywhere from 10 to 14 hours on this closed beta. I did some co-op action with Undead Warrior. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun with this beta. There's a lot to do in this beta, but there's a lot of things that I do not like. And there's a lot of things that really have great potential, but whether Ubisoft will follow through, that is something to be seen. Let's go ahead and cover the facts. Ghost Recon Wildlands is an open world game set in Bolivia, and it can be played solo or in co-op with up to three of your friends. You play as the elite US operative dispatched on an off-the-books clandestine campaign against a notorious collection of South American drug cartel. Now let's go ahead and talk about the map. The map is huge. Absolutely huge. There are different regions. There is a desert region. There is a swamp region, a forest region, even a winter mountain region. There is so much in this world, I'm afraid that we're going to get bored. That's my first impression. If you're playing this game solo, you're going to get bored. You're going to get bored fast. I was absolutely disappointed with Far Cry 4. The only elements that Far Cry had going for itself were the animals. It was revolutionary. The rhinos, the, the jaguars, the, the snakes, the, the golden hawks. The, it was revolutionary with the animals. And it really made it impactful with a region that was so large. We don't have that in Ghost Recon. We don't have any of that. So as far as boredom goes, and obviously this is my opinion, if you're playing this game solo, you're not going to get the satisfaction as to if you are playing this game with three of your friends. I feel strongly about this. You can only play Ghost Recon Wildlands with friends. If you play this solo, I can't see you getting past six hours before you want to trade it back in over at GameStop for 40 bucks. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that in the, in the future. I'm really seeing that. If you do not play this, with a group of friends, you're going to get bored fast. It is nothing but a fetch quest, very, very repetitive fetch quest system. And what I mean by fetch quest is go here, get this, go there, achieve that, come back here, complete this, and then do it again. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, uh, maybe upgrade your progression system, and thank God for the progression system. The progression system implements anything from stable aim to hip fire to stamina to battery life for your drone to vehicular damage and reception. There is a lot going on in this progression system. Will it be enough to feel legitimate? I'm not for sure. I, I feel like it's too arcadey and I hate using that word. I feel like the beta was really arcadey. And what I mean by arcadey is it doesn't feel rich. The environments feel very standard, very minimal. And I'm, I'm assuming they have to do that to achieve the level of respectable graphics and runtime, frame rate. Everything has to run smooth. That's why you're not going to see multiplayer in this game. You're not going to see a PvP. And that was frankly kind of the selling point for me if it was going to have PvP. And I, I, I know you don't have to have a dedicated PvP system. If you have a four-player co-op, yeah, it, 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 it helps. It definitely does. If it didn't have that, in my opinion, this game would be absolutely worthless. It, it, you just, you, it, it, you're playing single player and you're essentially just doing a fetch quest. That's, you know, those days are gone. Those days are over with. 
So luckily they implemented a four player co-op and not being PVP oriented and there's no multiplayer at all in this really is going to hurt this overall launch for this game. I know a lot of players, a lot of gamers, a lot of Ghost Recon fans out there that have been playing Ghost Recon for many, many years. They're all in a revolt right now. They're all in a revolt and frankly, the closed beta did not go off very well over on the forums and the blogs. It's not being recepted very well. I know Marco Style is not impressed with the beta, absolutely disappointed. There's very, very few things that are on his plus sides of this, but and, and I can agree, I can contest to some of that as well. The new Ghost Recon Wildlands is not going to be for everybody. No game is going to be for everybody. There are certain play styles, there are certain uh, genres that people feel comfortable with, that people like to engage in, whether it's themes or time settings or first person, third person. Uh, the cover based system might be a selling point for one person. All of those are factors and all of those are going to be contributing factors for the overall launch of Ghost Recon Wildlands. I don't think it's going to have a successful launch. I really don't. Now going over to the compounds, even though everything is absolutely repetitive, at least Wildlands tried to incorporate something new. Now you engage in careful tactical engagements on these on these compounds or outposts and you can use your drones, you can use night vision, you can use squad tactics with your three players. Uh, Alpha Company on the left flank, Bravo on the right flank, engage, hostile, tango down. There's a lot of different play styles you can play in this, but the replayability, there, there are none. There are none. I can see this getting old very, very fast. You drive cars, avoid wildlife, and uh, attract patrolling soldiers, and it feels like Far Cry. It feels like a first-person Far Cry, or excuse me, third-person Far Cry, and frankly, that's not going to do a lot for a lot of people because they're not going to be engaged in something so repetitive that after about three and a half hours, they feel like they've been doing the same thing for three and a half hours. There's nothing. Now, I've been reading some of these first impressions from Kotaku.com and PCGamer.com and they're all praising Ghost Recon Wildlands. I don't understand why. I, I just don't understand why. Here's, here's a quote over at Kotaku. Uh, it plays like I wish The Division had played. I enjoyed playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. I actually think it'll provide the sort of gameplay that a lot of people were hoping for from The Division. It's standard tactical stuff where a single player, well-placed bullet will take down a bad guy and you can coordinate meaningful tactics with your teammates. Now, it's a far cry from the Division's odd bullet sponge enemy, Destiny-like damage numbers and randomized loot, and he found it very refreshingly straightforward. I disagree. Absolutely disagree. We're talking about an open world sandbox like Grand Theft Auto. And you've seen what Grand Theft Auto was able to achieve from the side missions to the deep, rich narrative. You're not going to get any of that in Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'd hate to say it. You're not going to get any of it. Now, here's a quote from PC Gamer about their impressions. It's a game that lets you grab three of your buddies, hijack cars together, drive off cliffs, steal helicopters, crash planes, carefully plan assaults on enemy strongholds, and freak out when those plans collapse. I'd say you're off to a good start. Throw in some fun extras, like tiny drones you can dispatch to scout ahead and tag enemies, and the ability to recruit AI rebels and call in mortar strikes are the result of a lot of fun. Now, with that said, that does sound fun. It does sound fun, I will agree with your friends. Just like I said in the beginning of the video, Wildlands has a lot of potential. It has an immense amount of potential, but only with friends. If you're playing this solo, you're not going to have the engaging experience that this game is meant to be delivered. Now, going over to some of the things that I really, really were disappointed about. The clunky controls, the lack of evasive cover. There, I, I mean, the, the cover-based system, it doesn't work. 
it doesn't work. It almost, it, it sticks to the wall, but you can't go around. It, it, it doesn't really stick like, say, the Divisions cover base system. The Divisions cover base system was really, really good. But why they didn't implement that into Wildlands, I have no idea. Going over to some of the vehicular controls, the helicopter, absolutely atrocious to fly. Absolutely atrocious to fly and more of a pain in the ass than anything. Takes a lot of practice. Once you get your practice down, it, it, it actually does feel a little bit of rewarding. As far as the planes go, also atrocious. Very, very clunky. As far as the customization goes, this is the one highlight that I had over the weekend for the closed beta were the customizations. Being able to truly customize your ghost into the most authentic way that you felt possibly. There was so many different options and colors and themes that you can do with your agent. As far, excuse me, your ghost. As far as other customizable options go, pretty slim and none. Let's go over to the user interface. The UI, as far as this beta goes, is done really well. I was also very impressed with the user interface and the convenience level to getting in and out of your options and moving from uh, uh, tag to tag and from faction to your inventory to your progression system. The user interface did have a lot of good things to it. Whether we see the same user interface in the final launch next month, that is to be seen. Now I know everybody thinks I'm probably harping on Ghost Recon Wildlands, in which I actually am. I'm frankly disappointed with the beta. I also wasn't impressed at all. I got bored after about eight or nine hours, and if it wasn't for co-op, I probably wouldn't have made it past six. I had a lot of fun in co-op, whether it was Emil and I crashing helicopters into each other and dueling to the end, or running around on a tractor and, you know, taking out NPCs, or engaging in compounds together. All of those were engaging and, and somewhat enjoyable moments, but I feel like those moments aren't going to last long at all. Now, to end the video, and I doubt a lot of you are even going to make it to this portion of the video, but I think one thing that could save Ghost Recon Wildlands would be a reskin of zombies. And I'm going to speculate this about a dedicated video coming up very, very soon. I would say here in a few days. I would like to see zombies. I know everybody is sick and tired of zombies. Everybody. But if you recall Red Dead Redemption and how they did the reskin of Red Dead Undead Nightmare. That was absolutely amazing. I can see Ubisoft being able to do something like that. And if they did something like that, where Bolivia is taken over with a virus and, and, and enraged and everybody is 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 suffering from from you know rabies or not so much like a zombie, but you see what I'm saying, like like 28 days later. Something like that, a virus of rage or rabies, a rabies outbreak from some monkey. You see what I'm saying? I think if they implemented a DLC expansion for something like that, I would gladly pay for that. Helicopters, vehicles, zombies, that would be insane. Now, I do believe it's time to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed today's Ghost Recon Wildlands beta video, please hit the indicator of the upward thumb. I would greatly appreciate it. If you did not enjoy today's video, please smash the downward thumb button. I would greatly appreciate it either way. Please leave your speculations, comments, and opinions down below. I would love hearing your feedback. If you really enjoyed today's video and would like to see more, please hit the indicator of that subscribe button. For more and latest news coming up on Ghost Recon Wildlands, I'll see you guys in the next video.